Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shergo Baje. Today, we're looking at Abraham's faith. How Abraham was called the friend of God. You know, the Bible tells us that Abraham was called the friend of God. And you know, in Amos 3 and verse 3, it says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? That means that Abraham actually came to terms with God. He came to terms with God on the ground of his word. You see, God and his word are one. God called Abraham and Abraham began walking with God on the ground of his word, on the basis of his word. And so Abraham was called the friend of God because he believed God. He believed God. He became God's covenant friend. Hallelujah. God could confide in him and Abraham could speak to God intimately because they were both friends. Praise the Lord. On what basis? On the basis of the word. God called Abraham out of his father's house and he believed God and acted on God's word and started following God's instructions a step at a time and was obeying God's voice a step at a time and God called him his friend. That's faith. They found a common place and the both of them dwelt there. Abraham found a common place where himself and God could dwell. And that place is his word. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That means it takes agreement for two to walk together. And the agreement has to be on some terms that the both of them agree to. And those terms become their reference point of walking together. Abraham believed God. God was looking for a man to believe him, to believe his word. And he found that man in Abraham. Praise the Lord. You see, friendship is actually based on agreement. Amen. The Bible says, he that has a friend must show himself friendly. Abraham had a friend in God and he showed himself friendly by walking with God and acting on God's word. And the both of them tangled. Glory together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They tangled because they agreed. Amen. So what does it take to become God's friend? It's simple. Walk with God on the ground of his word. When you find his will, all right, meditate on his will and be willing to yield yourself to his will. That's what it means to walk with God. And as you are willing to yield yourself to his will, you are strengthened by his spirit to do his will. And you come to terms with him. The both of you are on the same page. And you come into perfect sync. And the both of you can walk together. And that was what happened to Abraham. In Genesis 12, God called him. Genesis 13, you know, he stepped out and began to walk with God and built altars everywhere he went, worshiping God, loving God, and acting on God's word. And God could share deep things with him when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of the multitude of their iniquity. God had to call Abraham. He said, is there anything that I would do? And um, I will not mention it to Abraham, my friend because I know him that he will instruct or command his children after him to fear me. Praise the Lord. So you see, Abraham was a man who understood the heart of God by um, the, the faith that he showed in God's word. And God opened up his heart to him and he knew God on an intimate level. It all began by faith. So Abraham was called God's friend by faith. You too can walk with God the same way Abraham did, by faith. Take God's word, meditate on it, begin to live by the word of God intimately, affectionately, and you will see that God's heart will be open to you. You get to know him intimately, and the both of you can tango and be on the same page. Abraham was called the friend of God. Hallelujah. I believe you've been blessed today. And until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Did you know that right now, if you're in Christ Jesus, you are God's covenant friend, the new covenant? Amen. God cut that covenant 
with Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ stood as our representatives. And